Hey guys, my name is Annie, and welcome to The Hunter Call of the Wild. Now, this game is really cool. Uh, and I've already, like, played... I've only played seven hours of it, so I am not the best at the game, but... A lot of those seven hours have been, like, recording and failing the record. For example, I recorded late yesterday, but then I... It was actually better for me to just, um, to not, like, publish a video, because now I've, uh... I have bought a DLC, which I really wanted. And... The DLC is... I have bought this map. Now, this map is a DLC, and you can find lynx, and reinde reindeers, and moose, and brown bear, and curious musk deer, and all of that. Um, so, I really wanna, I really wanna go into this, and also I have played ATV, and I think I started off this video really weird, uh, a little bit bad, but if you don't know what this game is about, it's about, the game is about you go in, you hunt, and it's really, really good looking. It's a really, really good looking game. You can see it right there, and there, and there, and there, and there. And there, and there. I just want to get in, and I really want to start. Um, yeah. Also, it's a little bit early. Ooh, brown bear! It's a little bit early in the morning. Uh, not that early, but... Hello? There you are. Добро пожаловать. Welcome to Medveda Taiga National Park, my friend. Not that we are friends, yet. I'm Hada Alena Hasavovna, but you can call me Alena. I'm your primary contact, so you and I will be friends in no time. I've put together this cross-disciplinary expedition to study the effects of climate change in this region. My team and I are scientists, not activists, so this isn't a political thing. We are only interested in data, verifiable facts. That said, the taiga is not the most hospitable place. Gathering data and assessing the animal population here is difficult enough in spring and summer, but in winter it becomes dangerous. Not just for us, but for the local wildlife. Before we get down to the nitty gritty business, I can hear your stomach rumbling all the way here at base camp. Start by getting yourself some protein. That's why we called you in. Okay. The professional. You have a reputation for being a humane but effective hunter. My kind of hunter, I hope. I have hunted many deer, or at least I used to hunt them near your location. Look around for tracks. They should be plentiful. Okay. So, um yeah, what I said was that I it's a little bit early in the morning, so I'm not going to be as energetic as always. Uh, or it's not as energetic, but it's still energetic. Um or Animal ahoy. I just woke up. Okay, binoculars. She said binoculars, right? Spot on them all. Ooh, it's traveling. It's gonna travel. Here's the tracks. Look at that. Awesome. Is that the tracks? Oh, no, no, no. Did you kill it? No! Okay, there was a Siberian musk deer I shot. And it dropped some blood, but I don't know where it went. Is this the tracks? This is the tracks, okay. We're on the right tracks now. Here we have another blood trail. What's that? It's the Siberian musk there. It's dead. Ah. Confirm trophy. What? Oh, I didn't shoot in the head. Maybe it's smart to actually shoot in in front of the head if you're going to try to get a headshot, not from behind. If you're going to rest tonight, you need to find an outpost, and that means knowing where one is. You can only see so much from the ground, 
so unless you brought your rocket boots, you have to climb the nearest lookout point. I know. I've marked the location on your hunter mate. Happy hiking. Here we go. Where are go where are going? Up here. Because there's the outpost. No, there's What is that called again? Look at points. It's called a look at point. We have to get there to see where the outpost is. So we can like get an ATV and drive around. Which I really wanna do. Because driving around with ATV is so much better than just driving, running. And this map it's I really I think this map is better than all of the other maps because this like my opinion, this has black bear and lynx, and I love lynx and black bear. I don't know. Wait, does it have brown bear or black bear? Does it have both? That would have been cool. Cool. Now, where is the outpost? Because we're supposed to all the way over there. Oh, it's a long way. It's one kilometer away. What is there? Is there seasons in this game? Like different seasons? Because that would be so awesome to have different seasons. Also, the clock is really slow in this game. It's not like the Sims. Claim it. Ah. Now I can get an ATV. So we're just gonna. I need some ammo. I can just stock up on this ammo because it's free. I can just suck it up and I have unlimited ammo. I check how much I have now. Whoa. 104. Harvest an animal. For Genther, okay. And now that so. you're comfortable, or as comfortable as anyone can be out here, I need you to help one of the other team members, Gunther Baden, at the campsite in Rybatsky Bay. You might have an easier time calling it Fisherman's Bay. Oh, nice! The update has fixed it. It was just an update right before I was going to play this. It was an update that fixed this. Because when you went in third person uh, on the ATV you would only see your arm two arms like sticking up from the gear uh, handle and then they fixed it that was yesterday can I see my feet? I can't see my feet yet I really wanna see my feet but this is actually a new game so it has bugs but they fix it they actually fix the bugs really fast faster than some games Gunther arrived about a week ago to send up remote right cameras there. all across this region, let you know Bay. He loaded up an ATV with plenty of supplies, but like I said, we haven't heard from him since the storm. It's normal for people to disappear for a few days in the taiga, but Gunther, unlike you, his resume grossly exaggerated his wilderness survival skills. He is more of a passionate amateur than a consummate professional. Thanks for hunting on his behalf. No problem. Just gonna go go over to that outpost right there. So I ran from that place to that place when I could just run up here. Oh, wow. Oh, it's so good and uh, cool to drive an ATV. I, my friend, me and my friend played this uh, actually. Ooh, nice. Me and my friend actually played this uh, like a while ago. No, yesterday. And that was the first time I've ever tried driving an ATV. When I tried the ATV, I was just like, okay, I'm gonna buy this. I'm gonna buy the DLC. Because I didn't know how much I really wanted it. Because it costs really much. Not really much, but a little bit. 
No! Flip vehicle. Where are you? There you go. Ah! It's a, it's a little bit hard. Driving. Wait, 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 wait. Isn't that water? Oh, yes it is. But can I drive on the water? Because it's ice. That would be so cool if we could drive on the water. Please, 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 please. <gasps> I can drive on the water! Do I leave tracks? No, I don't. Okay. Fix that, please. That would be so cool to leave tracks. Ah! Here we go, we're at the outpost. Claim it. We need another... Claim it! There you go. We need another ATV. It looks so awesome with that ATV right there. Looks really nice. Let's get another ATV because that ATV is... Has a bad condition. Wait, oh really? Uh, what? The... Do I need to buy the ATVs when if I just fully destroy it, do I need to buy it over again? That would be a little bit weird. Let's go over here. Oh, it's scary to drive in here and then just hit a rock. It's like driving like that hitting something like that just driving full speed through the bushes and then hitting something you don't even know what you hit like that oh it's annoying what's this spect Ooh, expedition then you have expedition journal day five supply issue is more dire than we thought Weather pounding the cost, uh, we will need to head south and east to return to base camp. Okay, that's cool. That is very, very cool. Cool thing is that you can, like, wait. No, they fixed that. Oh, before you could actually, you could actually, like, push the ADV, which was not realistic, but it was still cool. We are driving so fast, what? <laughs> Actually, I think I'm gonna leave the episode here and let's just drive over there in the next episode. Why am I stopping? Is there any invisible ball I haven't seen? Well, if it's invisible, I can't see it. Duh. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to leave the episode here. Um. I'm gonna play more of this game or record more of this game because it's really uh, it's really fun. It's actually really fun to drive around and mess around with the game, and it looks really good. But we really need to harvest an animal the, in the next game, in the next episode. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like and make sure to subscribe to my channel for more content like this one. I'm gonna sneak up behind him and then I'm gonna just get ah! <laughs> Do that! Do the melee attack, okay. Whoa! Hit it at the sound. Uh, planet. Large planet, but not so close, or it's.